Hello, Netroots Nation. Thanks for putting progressive issues front and center in this election and every election for more than a decade. And thanks, too, for shining a spotlight on the urgent, pressing challenge of criminal justice reform. It's been nearly two years since Michael Brown was killed in Ferguson. With the help of activists, including those in the Black Lives Matter movement, our country is truly engaged in a difficult but critical conversation about systemic racism and injustice. But now, we need to turn talk into action. Last week's tragedies only underscore the urgency of end-to-end -end criminal justice reform and stopping the tragedy of black men and women and black children being killed by police or dying in custody. I've laid out a comprehensive reform agenda. Now I'm proposing two additional steps. First, as president, I'll bring law enforcement and communities together to develop national guidelines on the use of force. Second, I will target $1 billion in my first budget to take on implicit bias, which remains a problem across our society and even in the best of our police departments. I'm proud that for the first time, the Democratic platform addresses these issues in a comprehensive way, and that we have developed the most progressive platform in our party's history. Now I know many of the people in this room supported Senator Sanders in the primary. I'm looking forward to hearing from you, learning from you, and working with you. You've helped put political and campaign finance reform at the top of the national agenda, and I intend to keep it there. Today, I'm announcing that in my first 30 days as president, I will propose a constitutional amendment to overturn Citizens United and give the American people, all of us, the chance to reclaim our democracy. I will also appoint Supreme Court justices who understand that this decision was a disaster for our democracy. And I will fight for other progressive reforms, including small dollar matching and disclosure requirements. I hope some of the brilliant minds in this room will seek out cases to challenge Citizens United in the courts. Because I know I can't do this alone. We need you to keep speaking out, keep organizing, and keep holding elected officials, including me, accountable. We know what happens when progressive voices get drowned out by the other side, and we cannot let that happen. So I'm looking forward to fighting alongside you and with Senator Sanders in the weeks, months, and years to come. Because you know what? We are stronger together. Thank you all very much.